welcome back again to our virtual pinball machine build. It's been a while since our last video, so we're going to cover several things this time. Today, we'll be doing the TV mount and the button hiding panel for the cabinet. There seem to be a bunch of ways to approach adding the TV for the playfield in these projects, which include making mounts that will lift up so that you can service underneath the TV. I decided to make my mount static. The TV won't be permanently attached, and I will be able to lift it out if I ever need to. Anyway, I used 2x4s to mimic the mount location, which ends up being a mistake in the end because it didn't account for the curvature of the TV's back and ended up making my measurements off. The goal was to have the TV mounted 2 inches from the rail in the front and 4 inches from the rail in the back. You'll see later why this didn't work out. And I ended up having to move the mount later. With the temporary mounts cut and in place, I dry fit the TV. Everything looks good, but I want to get one more look at the button placement. It's going to be a tight fit, so I wanted to dry fit some more, just to make sure. To make the mount, I decided to use the scrap plywood I had from the project to make some 1x3s. Then I cut them to size using the miter saw. Then, we build the mount. The center braces you see here end up being the issue with the curvature of the back of the TV as the measurements I took were from the ends of the TV, not the middle. The TV would end up sitting about an inch higher than I wanted it to in the end. We then mounted the TV mount inside the cabinet. And with all that done, we moved on to the initial sanding of the inside. Next, we made a panel out of some half inch plywood to go down near the front of the cabinet to fill the gap between the lockdown bar and the TV. and some more dry fitting of the buttons. And then use some L brackets to attach the piece to the cabinet, leaving enough room for the lockdown bar. Then, we used a 2x4 to simulate the TV and get a good mount point for the piece. Then we added some stop pieces to ensure the TV doesn't slide underneath. and finally secured it all in place so that I could finish attaching the L-brackets.
And that's all for this video. Join us next time when we add the legs to the cabinet. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date. See you next time!